14 to 16. I'm going down. You're reading. I didn't forget something. Verse 16 says, Then he that received the five talents went and traded the same and made them other five talents. So he was given five. But what did he do with that five? He went out and made five more. That's a good profit. That's double. That's 50%, right? If I told you I was going to give you 50% it was in my wallet, would you be excited? Well, that's half what I got. Unfortunately, you would get nothing. nothing in my wallet. But that's all right. 50% is a lot in most cases. Uh, verse 17, And likewise, he... That had received two, he gained another two, 50%. That's a good increase. Any businessman who makes double will be happy. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. So then in verse 18 it says, But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. He had one, and he got scared. He said, Well, I got this one. Now, isn't it interesting that these people had multiple to be concerned with, two and five? But the one that had one said, Oh, goodness. I only got one, I better not lose this. And hid the Lord's money. Verse 23, I'm going down again because I've got to get to a point. How long do I have? About 40 minutes? I'm going to take an hour. I ain't lying. These kids can watch <laughs> YouTube and Facebook and all that stuff all day long. Video games. Take an hour. You know. I'd give mine now. I'll try, I'll try to be courteous. Can we have fun of the Lord this morning? Yeah. That's what I want to see. You can have fun of the Lord. I want to have fun of the Lord. Come on. I want to have fun in God today. Verse 23 says, I'm getting excited about the Lord. You have to excuse me. I'm free today. I'm free indeed. I'm smiling. Look at this. Does that look happy? You know why? All right. Verse 24 says, that he that had received the one talent, I'm sorry, verse 23, his Lord said unto him, well done. Now this is to the people who had gotten two and made two more, five and five more. This is what the Lord said unto them, verse 23 again. His Lord said unto them, well done, good and faithful servant. Who wants to hear that when you see God? Amen. We know who God is. And God, when you see him and he looks at you, oh, well done. Oh, Dana, well done, young lady. You, you've done so well. You, know, you think you feel good when daddy and mommy say something? You know, good job. This is God. This is what you want to hear from the Lord. Well done. You have been faithful, young person. Let's continue on. Thou hast been faithful. I, I wasn't reading that. It just came out. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. Just a, a couple of things you've been faithful. I will make thee ruler over many. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. That's what I want in my life. Amen. The joy of the Lord. Listen, young people, you think that, you know, boys are cool if you're a girl or girls are cool if you're a boy. Yeah, that's great. That's not the joy of the Lord. There's something else besides your hormones raging. I know they do. I was, a, I was a young person. I know I look old. But I'm not old. I'm experienced. I'm not old. But understand, I know what that feeling is like. The joy of the Lord way better than any hormonal flash that you get right. from seeing somebody in the opposite right. sex. You don't understand. See, boys and girls will hurt you. I say girls too, because girls are catching up. <laughs> girls are saying, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And the boy just stepping all over the girl. Now they're like, mm-hmm, where's his friend at? <laughs> you treat me like that? Where's Bobby? I'm going to find Bobby. I show them. See, they laughing because they know. That's what they're doing now. Boys, boys, they don't sit back anymore. See all the girls are loud, right? <laughs> girls don't play. Girls will not sit around and be, be bullied and beat up anymore. So you gotta understand, both boys and girls, they're gonna hurt each other. And, uh, can I just use a word? I know you heard it. I'm not trying to be mean to you, but you know, by nature, at this age, we're selfish, and it usually doesn't go away. When we get older, we stay selfish. I want you to know the joy of the Lord exceeds any drug, any alcohol, any intimate relationship you might have, which you should not be having. Just well, so you know, I'm old school. I don't mind telling you. Stay away from each other. Yes, sir. Yeah. You all can't handle that power yet. Amen. Get yourself in trouble. Trust me, I've been there too many times. But I'm here to tell you the joy of the Lord comes when you are a faithful servant. You don't give the joy of the Lord when you're not. Now, I'm going to get to where you think I, I ain't lost. And I, I know where we're going to witness him. But we got to go here first. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Verse 24 says, Then he which had received the one talent, came and said, Lord, I knew. Somebody say, I knew. I knew. 
You can't say he didn't. I knew that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown and gathering where thou hast not strawed. Verse 25, and I was afraid. Fear will kill a witness. Somebody say it. Fear, fear. fear will kill a witness. That's real. The problem is he knew this. We're going to talk about overcoming in a minute. But he knew this was a hard man, but his fear made him afraid. And when, verse uh, 25, then went and hid thy talent in the earth, lo, thou hast that is thine. He didn't want that. What did he want? He wanted an increase. Somebody say increase. increase. My God is a God of increase. All right. He's not a God of staying the same. He's not a God of less. He's a God of more. Well, can you hear me? So we are talking about the idea of this servant trying to make excuses. You're going to say you ain't got no excuses. Especially after today. I'm sorry to tell you that when I teach what I'm going to teach you, you are now responsible. Don't get mad at me for that. Especially since if you do what I'm teaching, you're going to be blessed beyond measure. Is that what we want? You think it's good to get an Xbox 360? Try Jesus 360 and see what happens. Ooh. That's a game I play all day and love it. You need to learn to love it. Verse 29. I'm skipping down again. For unto every one that hath, hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. I don't say abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away, and even that which he hath. I don't want to be taken from. I want abundance. It's words. Very simple. I can't understand the Bible. Take away. Abundance. Which one do you want? Take away or abundance? Which one do you want? Abundance. See, the Bible ain't that hard, church. It's not that hard. Verse 30. And cast ye the unprofitable servant, and we're going down again, into, the dark, uh, uh, into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You know, that place don't sound good to me. <coughs> So what happens to the one who did what they were supposed to do? They went out and they increased 50%. Let me just say this. Now, this is not what I want, but even if you want one soul, that's one person that's not going to turn to the place that you should never want. So even if it was just one, one of your family members, one of your friends, even if it was just one, it would be a blessing. But see, I've got a God of increase. And I believe there's going to be more than just one. The Bible says at the end time we will do great exploits. That means we're going to have a lot to do. That means we got to get busy. Now, I've got, I'm, I'm still at witnessing, but I've got to share with you something. See, I believe that when these kind of events happen, the Lord touches people who are going to speak to you. I, I'm sorry, I couldn't sleep last night. And it wasn't the last time I preached here, I couldn't sleep because I was just so excited. Because I had preached in front, of, in front of a bunch of Holy Ghost filled up. I saw the crazy kids in a long time. I got a baby church, you know, so they, they're doing good. They're growing, they're drinking the milk. They're growing, and they get excited, but they don't get like some of us. I mean, we get a little loose something. We get a little crazy, you know what I'm saying? So I was so excited, I couldn't sleep that night. I had hives, too. I don't think the Lord was trying to. I mean, the enemy was trying to keep me quiet. I just I was up all night. I slept like 30 minutes. Last night was different. I had this, something was heavy on me. I mean, it was like, it was almost like I felt like I had to vomit. I don't think it was the daddies. <laughs> it, was, it was something that was like, kind of made me sick, though. It was something that I felt I was suffocating. And I was having these dreams about not making it with, not, not me personally, but, but us not meeting the mark with God somehow, or not living up to God's expectation. And then at 6.23, I know because I looked over my Bible, she was sleeping at the clock, because I couldn't sleep anyway. But when I finally got what I needed, I got up and I started writing. And this is what the Lord gave me. So right now, what you're about to get, this is from the Lord. You'll be excited about this. There are some things that God wants to put into us, and there are some things that he needs to take out of us. Now understand we're talking about this, the servants, or there were some did good, some didn't do so good, and we're talking about increase. They were supposed to go out and increase. The Bible's telling us that we need to go out and reach the lost. That's what it's talking about. But in here, there's some things we have to do before we can reach the lost. We're talking about witnessing one-on-one. -on -one. There's some things we need to be prepared for. There's things that we need to do to prepare ourselves 
to go out and reach the lost, you got to be ready. You're a bunch of Padawans.